Hey everybody, Timmy Mac here, and on this episode, I'm going to show you how I made this custom shoulder holster, and I'm still not a leather worker. Stay tuned. Okay, I started this by taking a couple of measurements off the pistol itself and doing a rough sketch and I sketched it out roughly on some grid paper and scanned it in and then brought it in on system and used Adobe Illustrator to essentially draw this template. I printed it out and here I'm cutting it out to transfer it. Once I had it cut out, <clears throat> I moved it to a heavier piece of stock. This is an old Pendaflex file folder that is a lot thicker and I can cut templates out of it and save them. But I went ahead and I transferred it from the paper copy to the Pendaflex. And then essentially did the same thing again cut it out of the pendaflex. Then I laid the pendaflex template on top of the leather and traced it out. This is seven to eight ounce veg dyed leather for the holster. Okay, once I had it trimmed out of the leather, <clears throat> I went and I masked, started masking off to do a glue up. I just measured down and drew these lines and put this blue tape on there just to give me a mask. This is contact cement, contact yeah. adhesive. I don't have anything else. I, I might. I should try to use some of that white glue that some of these professional leather crafters use. But you gotta use what you gotta use. Okay, after I let this glue sit up for about 10 minutes, I strip that off and this always makes me really nervous. Make sure that I get this these edges lined up because once that contact cement grabs hold of one side to the other it just doesn't want to let go so I was real careful once I got it together I got these little spring clamps that I put on there and I let sit for about 15 minutes make sure it had good adhesion Okay, after this thing set up for about 20 minutes, I was checking it. it, looked pretty good. Everything lined up. Now just to see if the pistol fits in there. It's gonna be tight, but I plan to uh, wet mold it. Okay, I jumped ahead here. I already had the holster dyed and had it wet down. I was had it molded to the best of my ability. I've got it stuck up here trying to just get it set. I'm going to let it dry overnight. Now, on to the hardest part that I find in doing any of this leather craft stuff is saddle stitching. Now, I have to admit, I cheat. I don't use any of those punches. I use my dividers and I set it up to an increment and I measure it and I make little indentions around the edge and then I put a 1 16th inch drill bit in my drill press and I drill these holes. But the issue that I find is that the eye slit of the needle is wider than the needle shaft itself. So I always have to grab a little pair of pliers and yank that thing back through but, so if anybody knows of any better place to get needles, 
leave me a comment below I'd really appreciate it okay here I've moved on and I'm uh, starting to cut the back strap connector I'm using the same leather that I used on the holster it's probably a little bit too thick I should have used the same material that I cut the straps out of but what I did I just cut a square out and then I um, use my punch to punch the holes and then just by eye use an exacto knife to um, cut the slit tighten that knife up a little bit and um, let it go as that okay I've cut the straps out and here I'm just cutting down the uh, the ends that are actually going to hook into the holster itself. You can see that back strap connector piece there are off to the left. But I think I cut these straps a little bit too wide. Here I'm getting ready to check for fit. See if I got enough room. Enough to get a Chicago screw in there. That well, looks pretty good to me. Okay, here I am. I'm starting to punch the uh, connecting holes. I had dyed the other sides of these straps and had forgot that I needed to punch holes for all the connecting screws. These things are an inch apart. I figured that an inch was enough room to make any type of adjustment as far as fit went. Um. Then, I moved on to dyeing it. This is Fibing's English Brown. I really like this color. It's got a rich richness to it. I um, put two coats of this on everything. And I just, I just like how it really looks. It's a really nice color for leather. Okay, <clears throat> this is edge coat. I'm putting the edge coat. I lost the sequence for the uh, burnishing and wetting down of the edge of the holster. I don't know what happened to it. But I like using this edge coat. Regardless of how skilled you are as a craftsman, this really adds a really nice finished touch to a piece. Then I used some mink oil as a protector, a little bit of waterproofing, softening, everything of that. They got two coats. So once the mink oil had dried, I took the old shoe brush there and started buffing out everything. Really brought a sheen to the finished piece that I really liked. It's not real complex, pretty simple. Well, here I'm starting to put it together. I used uh, 1 8 inch Chicago screws for all the fasteners. Um, that was the smallest one I could find. But I think um, in the end, it turned out fine. So here it is. In all its flaws, in all its glory. Twenty twenty. If I was to do it again, I'd change it a little bit, but that's another story too. And here's the fit.